In front of me is a lot of Bluetooth in-ears, and all of them are going in the trash. Let's talk about it. Bluetooth has gotten really good over the last couple of years. In fact, some things, well, they're starting to encroach upon the territory of wired IEMs and headphones. I'm sure many of you saw a while back, we had a video all talking about how much we loved the new AirPods Pro 2. But there's one big problem they face that every other Bluetooth item faces. These are all going in the trash. Now, it may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but at some point, the batteries in these will all fail. And the batteries in all of these are not designed to be replaced. They're not designed to be serviced, just like AirPods. When one breaks, when one has a battery that finally dies, well, they throw them out and they give you a new pair. For items that can encroach upon and even surpass the $300 territory, well, is two to three years of use enough? Whether or not you have concerns about the environmental impact of dumping tens of bajillions of batteries into landfills, there's something to be said about buying a product that lasts a lifetime. Now this isn't the case for every Bluetooth item out there. Things like the Focal Batiste. Focal has said they will service them and replace the batteries when it's needed. And there are some others out there like that, but your standard Bluetooth in-ears, well, that is simply not the case. Which isn't to say any of these aren't good because, well, a number of them are great. One more, Soundcore, Sennheiser, OnePlus, AKG, uh, not nothing, have made some pretty great sounding wireless in-ears. And well, let's be honest, this is the most convenient way to get noise canceling on an airplane. But is it worth it? This set of monks I got probably five or six years ago for less than $10. They still work just like the day I got them. The Sennheiser IE200 and 600, both wired IEMs praised for their sound quality that, well, unless they get crushed, they'll probably still work the same in 10 years as they do right now. I mean, there's still people using the HD 580 back when it came out, and that was before the HD 600 was even a thought. I'm not saying this to trash on Bluetooth. I actually use Bluetooth earbuds, especially like these, well, all the time, but it's something I heavily consider as someone who reviews these and recommends them and says, hey, yes, this is worth buying. I have to ask myself, is it? While I may use them, I do often think about the impacts of what I'm throwing away and spending money on something that I'm not going to have in a few years. I guess this applies to a lot of electronics in general, computers, many other things, but headphones are one example of something that really does last a considerable amount of time, as the wired ones do. Mostly because they don't have a lot of complex electronics in them. I mean, you have something that's generating an electromagnetic field and a magnet. I mean, you gotta replace ear pads, but throwing away ear pads, some foam and leather, isn't really the same as throwing away batteries. And you can replace the ear pads. You can't really replace the batteries. Now, there isn't a specific point here. I'm not saying everyone should stop using Bluetooth, but it is something that I feel like we should think about, at least just a little bit. Because for a lot of people, well, you might be buying a 80 to $150 Bluetooth IEM because, well, you might not be able to afford a nice wired high-end headphone. But for the number of times you have to replace that, you might have just been better off getting a cheap wired headphone. Because as much as I enjoy these, well, they won't be in my ears in three years. I'll have to look for a replacement when they stop working. And truth be told, yes, the sound quality on wired, well, it is still better. There are cases where things that are Bluetooth get really close. I think the Batiste is a prime example of that. It is so good that I replaced my Focal Radiance with it. The AirPods Pros, their sound quality is fantastic, at least the new Pro 2s. But a wired IEM, unless you're using something like Atmos or noise canceling, well, wired IEMs are better. Food for thought. What I would really like to know is how you guys feel about this. I'd like to know your thoughts down in the comment section below or on the forum. I think this is a discussion that we can all have respectfully, but I really want to know if I'm the only one who cares about this or not. Do you buy things just because you enjoy them or do you buy things because they'll last a really long time? There isn't a wrong answer. You can absolutely love Bluetooth IEMs. I do too, but I want to know what you guys think. So that is gonna wrap this one up. Like I said, let's discuss this in the comments, in the Discord, or in the community forums. Make sure you stick around, subscribe for more videos like this in the future, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.